everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne and I am one half of the Sussex Handmade Soap Company along with my good friend and business partner Wayne. And on our channel we feature our regular Friday uploads in which we bring you our soap making and show you how we make our soaps, the soaps that we release, some soaps we do for fun and just some trial and error soaps. And we've recently also started adding to that by doing some Tuesday videos in which we bring you just a few little business tips if you are looking at starting your own handmade soap and cosmetics business and also some behind the scenes footage of how we actually run our business and everything that we have to do to cover every aspect of our business from the selling, the marketing, the videos. We just want to kind of give you that back, backstage, behind the scenes view of what it's actually really like running our channel and our business. And what we're going to be showing you in today's video is how we prepare our limited edition monthly soap releases for sale. Because you already see us making our monthly limited edition releases on a Friday, we show you those videos, but there are a lot of other steps that we have to take between making the soaps and actually having them ready and completed and good to be sold and available for purchase on our website. So that is what we are going to be showing you today. But just before we start showing you what we're doing, I want to address a question, and that is, why bother with monthly soap releases? Um, and there's no denying that they do add extra work to what we're doing. They are not easy. Some of them are a lot more involved than our other soaps, but there are two main reasons that we do a monthly soap releases. And the first is that it keeps our customers interested. We have got a lot of loyal customers who we are very, very thankful for and we love them all. It is fantastic. We have built up quite a nice little customer base. And offering something like a limited edition release that is a little bit different from our normal range helps to keep those customers interested. They find out through social media or our newsletter that we have got limited edition releases coming up and that tends to drive traffic to our website and in turn that creates more sales, more revenue, more profit. All good. We also find that a lot of the customers who purchase the limited edition releases will also purchase maybe another one or two items from our store. So as well as actually creating extra revenue in terms of selling the limited editions, it is also helping us to sell more of our regular stock. And that is a really good thing because any small business like ours really needs to keep the money coming in throughout the year and especially in quiet months like we are in at the minute we are in january we really rely on customers coming through the website because we can't be doing any real life fairs at the moment either so we're relying on that website traffic to bring in our income and as i say doing the limited editions when we released our january limited edition we had a huge surge in traffic to our website for about the first five or six days after we introduced those and we made a lot of sales which was great so that is the first reason that we do monthly limited editions we want to raise the traffic raise the sales all good and the second reason that we create our limited editions is more of a sort of personal fun reason and that is that both Wayne and myself are quite creative quite artistic kind of people and doing the limited editions gives us a chance to have a little bit of fun be a little bit creative experiment with new designs new scents new colours, things like that. Um, and it also means that we can take a little bit more time and make these bars just that little bit extra special. Um, for example, I've just started on our Mother's Day March release and I have done one loaf of soap that has got these gold soap roses and I've made them all by hand and it took me forever. It took me about seven hours to complete the soap roses just for the top of the soap. And that is not sustainable as something we could do on a regular soap that we stop all year round because it just takes too much time. Um, so we did it as a limited edition because that means I can create two loaves of that soap and then it's done. They sell out and it's gone. Um, so I've had the fun of creating the little soap roses without the constant time commitment of having to do that all the time which would take far too long and would mean I'd have to raise the price of that bar which would be you know not a great thing to do because it would be unaffordable, not unaffordable, but it would be something you couldn't really justify spending a large amount of money on. We're talking like 20 quid a bar if I factored in time, so it would be a lot. But because it's a limited edition, we're going to keep it down at the regular price 
and just have fun, sell it, move on. So that is the second reason for the limited editions. It is to allow us to be artistic, creative, and have some fun with what we're doing. So now I've introduced you to what we're doing today, let me take you and show you all of the limited editions that we will be putting on our website, ready for release on February the 1st, 2021. So these are all of our February limited edition soaps that we have created and today what I want to do is get these ready for their release because it's mid-January and I like to have everything kind of done well in advance. And we have got 32 of these three designs here and we've got 24 of this design here purely because it was cut a little bit differently which meant that we got less bars per loaf. So to get these ready for sale, there are a few things I need to do today. Um, today, I'm going to be concentrating on getting the photos of these done. Then I'm gonna be concentrating on getting them all listed on our website. They won't actually be live yet. I'm gonna hide the listings, but I'm gonna get them ready so that on February the 1st, I can just change it from not visible to visible and they'll all be good to go. Um, the safety reports and the illegal side of actually being able to sell these illegally has already been done. That's all already in place. And if you want to learn a little bit more about what you need to be able to do in order to sell soaps legally in the UK, we do have a video on that, which I shall try and link to for you guys to watch if you want to know a little bit more about the legal side of selling. Um, then I'm going to need to concentrate on wrapping these up and getting our labels on them. We've already created the labels for these, all the labeling has already been done, so I've got those labels and I just need to package up the soaps, get the labels on them and then they shall be sorted. Then we need to concentrate on the social media side of things. I like to put a few Instagram photos up, kind of teasing what the designs look like so that it kind of ramps up people's interest throughout the month. And then come February the 1st, we will show the full photo of them. Um, similarly, we do a YouTube video, as you guys may have seen, for every release that we're doing. These have already been up and have been published, so you may have seen these being made. Um, that is something else that we have to do during the month for each of the limited edition releases. And the last thing that I like to do, that I won't be doing today because it's not quite time yet, is to actually create a newsletter so that all of our website subscribers on the day of release will get a newsletter emailed to them showing them the new designs and telling them that they are now available to purchase. So in a nutshell today we are going to be doing photographs, website listing, preparing these ready for sale um, and I think that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today. I don't think I've missed anything out so I better get started. So before I start photographing or wrapping or anything like that, today there is one extra step that I want to do specifically with these soaps and only these soaps. Because these soaps are very much focused on the neat sort of clean design, I want to make the bars as neat and as clean as possible. And what I'm going to do is take a potato peeler and I'm just going to neaten up all of the edges and I know some people do do this on all of the soaps that they actually create um, but for us that would just take too long uh, because we make an awful lot of soap. So I'm only going to do it on these ones purely because I want to make this specific design as neat and as clean and as nice as possible. So let's start potato peeling our edges. So purely taking a potato peeler and just neatening up all of the edges. And this is one of those unseen behind the scenes moments um, that just kind of go into showing how much work really does go into just getting the soaps ready to sell because I've got 24 of these to do. So it's not going to be an especially quick job, it's not going to take too long, but it does add time just to getting it looking special, looking nice. And the worst thing is, if I hadn't shown you me doing this, anybody that purchases one would more than likely not even notice that this had been done, not even be aware that we'd done anything to the soap, so we're making a very subtle change that is just helping the final soap bar just to look really pretty. Oh, 
there we go. So you probably can't actually tell that we've really done anything to them. But to me, they just look ever so slightly prettier. So I'm going to work my way now onto the next one. And I'm just going to work my way through all of these soaps. Another soap completed and I'm happy with that one now. So you don't need to see me working through any more of these. We'll work through them, we'll get them done and then we'll move on. So now I need to photograph our February releases and this is the very simple setup that we use for actually doing our website images. The reason it is so simple is because it's easier then to be consistent. All I know is that when I need to do product pictures for the website, I just need to bring out our crate and our chopping board, pop the soaps on top and I'm good to go. And that is a lot easier than building really elaborate decorative sets for our soaps. So this definitely helps time-wise with uh, keeping that time cost down and just still giving us what actually ends up being a pretty nice shot. To photograph our soaps, I just use a Canon. It is a 550D. It is not a new camera by any stretch of the imagination. My ex-husband got me this and we've been split up for nearly 10 years. So it is a pretty old camera, but it does the job and there's no need to replace something that works perfectly fine. So just a Canon 550D and I've got some lights as well that you can't see. They are just out of shot here, but I've got some lighting just to hopefully give the soaps the best possible outcome in terms of the kind of photo that we can get. So let's photograph our February releases now. And because this is an old camera, the autofocus is actually broken, which means I need to focus everything manually. And that does take a bit more time than just being able to point and get autofocus to do the work. That one was slightly out of focus. I'm going to do another. So here we have got one of the just raw images that I have taken. Um, that's obviously going to need some editing before it's ready, but it's a very sort of basic image, but they work for our website, so that's how we do them. Now we get to photograph our little cactus soaps, and I love these. These are probably my favourites now, my favourite designs that we had done. Absolutely love those little cacti and really looking forward to seeing how well they sell as well. So I have to do these justice with the photos. Okay, that looks quite sweet I think. Yeah, I'm by no means a professional photographer but I can just about do our website justice. <laughs> Now I'm just going to zip through the green tea ones and the candy cane ones and then that'll be the images all ready for this month's soap release. Great, so now I've got the shots I'm happy with, what I need to do next to get them ready for this month's release is to actually take them upstairs edit that raw footage, sometimes I'll need to brighten it up a little, um, just sort of tweak the images to make them look their best, and then I need to work on getting them uploaded onto the website so people are actually going to be able to buy them. So now it's time to label and package them, and we keep all our labels in here, and I think this is the correct drawer for our limited edition labels. Yes, it is. So we need to label now. So I'm going to start with the fresh mint soaps today and these are our labels that we have created for them. Um, we basically create these in Paint Shop Pro and then we actually have them printed for us by, I think it's stickershop.co.uk. We probably could print them ourselves but it would be extra time and it would be ink and we just find it generally easier to actually send them off and get them printed for us. So that is what we do. Um, when we were designing our labels, there was a couple of key points that we actually wanted to focus on that we thought would help our business. Um, and we wanted our labels to be relatively simple, 
um, but with a nice kind of classic feel to them. We wanted them to show our location, so kind of show our locality so that people local to us know that they are getting a nice local product. And we wanted them to kind of show the handmade small nature of our business. So that is why we are the Sussex Handmade Soap Co. So we've got our county there and we've also got the little martlet here. And this is the symbol of Sussex. It is on the Sussex flag. So that is tying into our location. And obviously we've got the word handmade there too. Um, and each of our different scents of soaps has a different coloured border. And that kind of just brings a little bit of brightness, a little bit of colour, something to grab people's attention. Um, each bar is therefore a little bit different, but still kind of within the same branding. So that is why we have designed our labels like that. And then we come to our back labels, which are very much more boring. Um, being in the UK, there are certain things that we do have to state on our labels. And that would be our ingredients using the inky name. We need to have our contact details. We need to have the minimum weight of the product, um, the best before or the period after opening, uh, depending on what kind of product you're selling will determine whether you need a best before date or a period after opening. With soap, it's period after opening. We also state that they are vegan friendly because all of our soaps are either vegetarian or vegan. This specific one is vegan. So we let people know because then obviously They've got a visual reference. If they are vegan, they know it's safe for them to use. And we have got the fresh mint name and the warnings that legally have to be on there. And if there are warnings you need to put on, they will be on your cosmetic product safety report. It will tell you what you need to write on your label. So that is our back labels. Oh, we've got our batch number as well, which I'm about to write on now. So now I'm just going through these labels and I'm adding on our batch number. And the batch number basically ensures traceability. Every time we make a loaf of soap, we fill out a batch record sheet. And on that sheet, we put the date the soap was created, what's in the soap, the batch numbers from any of the ingredients that we've used. And we fill that all down and then we allocate it a batch number. And then when we're doing the labels, we write that batch number onto the back of the label. So if there's any, if there's ever any problems, they can contact us with the number, we can look at the records and we can trace it all back to the manufacturers to try and find out what the problems might have been. Luckily, we've never had to do that yet, but there's always a first time for everything. So putting the correct batch number on is a very important, if a little dull, step to the labeling process. So I'm just going to start wrapping up the soaps now. This is one of those jobs that is always a little bit dull. It takes quite a long time. The way we wrap our soaps does take time. Um, we are deliberately plastic free on our wrapping. So it does take a little bit longer than maybe just being able to shrink wrap a soap or something like that. But being plastic free is important to us. Um, but yeah, it does have the downside that we do spend an awful lot of time wrapping soap and it may be that in the future we need to look up other ways of doing it or even getting somebody in to help us. But at the minute we're just about coping. So we just have some lovely brown paper. Our wrapping is pretty simple. We take our soap, we pop it in the centre. And then it's basically just like wrapping up a little present. I'll tell you what, Christmas time this year, I was like right down with my wrapping of my presents. I got my Christmas wrapping done so quickly this year because I've had so much practice throughout the year of wrapping up tiny little parcels. There we go. And then we get one of our back stickers. Turn it around, carefully press it down, now flip it over, grab a front sticker, just press that down into position and we have one wrapped soap all ready to sell. Now I just need to repeat this another 31 times 
and then I shall be there. So here are just some of the soaps that we have prepared for February release today. Uh, the only job I have left to do now is actually to get the listings live on the website. I know I said I was going to show you me doing that, but I think I've changed my mind because it's not the most interesting of things. This video is probably already going to be a fair length, so I might show you that another day or I might just not. One thing I will say is that we use Wix for our website. I know some people aren't keen on it. Um, if you're no good at building websites like me, then you basically got Wix and Shopify are the two main ones in the UK, I think. I can't think of any others, but um, if you know any others, drop a comment down there. Um, some people will swear by actually building your own website. We have a friend who is a website designer who was like, don't use Wix, just build your own site. Um, but to somebody like me, that's like me saying to him, don't buy soap off the shelves, just make your own soap. It's like, if you don't know how to do something from scratch, it's really hard. So yeah, a Wix does cost us a bit more money than perhaps building our own, and it is perhaps a little bit more difficult to work with for search engines and things like that. But in terms of the time it saves me, it is worth it because I don't have time to be learning coding and website design and stuff like that. So for our little website, Wix works fairly nicely and we haven't really ever had any problems with using it. So we shall continue to use it. Um, that is about all for today. I hope you have enjoyed our little behind the scenes guide to packaging, um, preparing and getting our limited editions ready. Uh, please do drop us a comment, let us know what you think. Um, subscribe if you like our videos, hit the notification bell, that way you will be told when we have a new video published. Um, anything else? Can you think of anything else? I can't think of anything else. Um, new video up on Friday as always and we shall hopefully see you then. Bye! Goodbye!